Are you struggling to keep your team and agency on track by defining clear goals and roles? Well, you're not alone. Setting goals and assigning roles effectively can make or break your agency's success. That's why in today's video, I'm gonna go through how to set and track goals for your agency in our favorite project management tool, ClickUp. Whether you're scaling your business or managing a small team, ClickUp's robust features can help you align your team with your agency's objectives and ensure that everyone knows their responsibilities and expectations. In this video, I'm actually gonna walk you through our goal tracking template in ClickUp, which breaks down actionable objectives into key results and specific tasks. I'm gonna go through not only how to set up the high level goal, but also the granular action items. Every piece of it is just as important as the next to make sure you're not only defining what you're trying to achieve, but also making sure everyone is on the same page. I'm also gonna show you how ClickUp's custom task types really take this tracker to the next level. So if you're ready to elevate your agency's performance and goal tracking, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any ClickUp tips and tricks. Let's dive in. Let's walk through our goal tracking template. Now this template is new and improved, especially with ClickUp's new task types. It really takes us to the next level. Disclaimer, when this video is being published on YouTube, this template is not yet available in our shop, but it will be very shortly in the coming weeks. So just wanted to mention that if you're watching this right when it's published. Okay, let's go through this goal tracking list. It's actually pretty simple but it really takes your goal setting and tracking to the next level. As you can see here, we have a couple different views. We have the status view, the quarter view, and then the growth plan. So here you can do things like map out your mission and vision for the year or, you know, just revisit it at the start of each year. Go through quarterly and annual objectives as well. And so on this status view, you could see the different statuses that we have for the different OKRs or goals are not started, in progress, at risk, behind, postponed, and completed. So this, like I mentioned, we're going company-wide. What are your few initiatives, objectives, OKRs for each individual quarter? As you can see, if I unfurl this Start YouTube channel, you'll see that we have the main task as the goal task type. We have then the individual KPIs as KPI, the key result task types, and then the individual tasks underneath. So how do you actually set these task types? You can click into the status and you'll see task type here. If you want to edit or add any, you can click on edit and see all the different ones that we have here. You can also see ones that ClickUp recommends. So you can make these your own, but we've done this for things like bug trackers and meeting trackers or lead trackers, like prospects, things like that. They are really awesome for being able to note like what's a key piece of information and then what's an actual task that you're going to mark as completed. You can go ahead and say, let me go back to this yearly goal tracker. If I create a new task, it's going to default as a task, but then you can click on it, go to the task type, and then make it a goal. Same thing with the individual subtasks. If I have the key result. And then I come here, I can go ahead and make the task type that key result. Moving on, then you can have the assignee. Who is the owner of this specific goal? So we actually use ClickUp Teams here to denote, okay, what's the specific team for that overarching goal? The KPI is also going to be to the marketing team in this example. And then the individual tasks will have a specific owner, right? Fernando's going to create the content calendar. Jeff is going to be in charge of scripting. I'm going to be in charge of batch filming and editing as an example. Then in the actual task itself, you can also in the description add more details about that specific thing. So moving on, then we have a drop down for the quarter. We have the status on the outside as well. It will show the date that this was closed. So you, the start and due date are going to be your objective for when you want to get this done. So if this is Q4, let's say this is going to be October 1st, 
to December 31st, right? And then you can plan the KPIs. Like, do you want the content production to be October, audience growth and engagement, November, you know, channel monetization and growth, December, you can add those projected dates of when you want to work on those specific things. So let's go ahead. And for this one, batch filming and editing, let's say I was going to work on that in November after the scripting and the content calendar creation was done. So I'm going to go through, boom, I'm going to work on those in November. So once I actually start working on these things, I'll move this to in progress, and then you can track the progress of those goals. And here's what's so key about actually tracking and managing your goals is they're going to be top of mind. You want to make sure in ClickUp that you are also telling your team that they should be looking at their KPIs at least once a month minimum to be refreshing. Okay, what are we working as a company? What are we working on as a company? And then how am I contributing to that overarching goal? Then we have the department. So you can make these your own, but here you can see like admin, customer experience, finance, strategy, et cetera. And then we have progress as well. So when you're marking these things complete, then it will show you how much progress you're making on that overarching goal. So this is the main status view. I personally love to view the quarter view where this is grouped by the quarter. So you can see, okay, here are the specific things that we're working on for each quarter where the status, you're going to be like, okay, what's the status of each goal that we've set for the entire year? So that's really the gist of this template. Like I mentioned, it's pretty simplified, but the goal is that no pun intended, you can make sure that there's a place where you're setting and tracking these goals effectively. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, we have videos and KPI trackers on like actually tracking those granular KPIs for your team members that you can just put those in here and get very specific. But if you want to keep them tied to what your overall company goals are, number one, you can have those people working out of this list altogether, right? And know just what they're working on. Or if you want to give them their own lists, what you can do is say, okay, now this also depends on how many team members you have. If you have a lot, it may be quite cumbersome to create these automations, but you would say, okay, when the assignee changes and the assignee is Christy, for example, then add this task to Christy's KPI list. So I'm going to go into Christy KPIs, create, and now you will see if you create that for each team member before you actually start mapping out your goals, and you can always also reuse this list for the following year. So you don't have to create those automations from scratch every single year. Then you will see that when I go ahead and add Christy here, it's now going to go ahead and add that task to her individual list. So now you're going to see this is going to be added to that person's individual list. So if that does not show up for you, I do want to warn you that this is a click app that if you go into click apps and you do multiple tasks and multiple lists, this has to be checked on subtasks and multiple lists or else that automation would not work. You won't even be able to add that subtask to that list. As you can see, that is going to make that even easier to track, you know, here are all the individual goals and here's how each team member is contributing to them. You can also do things like in here, you can show in the layout option, the subtask parent names. So they can also see, okay, I'm working on batch filming and editing for KPI one consistent content production, etc. So there's actually one last thing I want to cover to wrap up this video, which is sometimes you have these goals, these KPIs, and then the tasks and targets to reach that key result and that overall goal. But there are so many things that happen underneath those actual individual targets. So like batch filming and editing or content calendar creation, maybe there are three, five, 10 tasks that are related to this, that you also want to track the progress of those things. Well, that's where task linking comes into play. So if you want to still actually track the progress of, okay, you know, Fernanda's in charge of this content calendar creation, but there may be other things that she's doing that are related to that target, then you can actually link those tasks to the subtask directly. So say in marketing and PR, let me just grab, 
you know, in here, let's say Q1 marketing brainstorm or Q4, that would be in that case. You can copy this task link and then you can go ahead and click into here and then you can go to task links and you can add a linked task. So now I'm going to paste this in here. And now when I'm in the specific task for Fernanda, I can see all the different things that she's working on for that specific target or KPI. So you can also see on the outside of here, if you want to add the linked tasks, then those are also going to show up out here on the outside. You can see the status of them um, and everything else for those specific tasks tasks, but you can also click into them as well and see those task links with the status due date is of all of those things. So that is the new and improved goal tracker. And I really think that everything that ClickUp has released recently, but especially the use of task types in here really has taken this goal setting and tracking process to the next level. I am such a visual person and I feel like having these specific goals and KPIs mapped out are really going to take our goal setting and tracking to the next level. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video helpful in learning how you can tangibly set goals, key results, and action items easily in ClickUp to ensure your team's success. At DeSilva Life, we've helped hundreds of agencies and teams become efficient and streamlined powerhouses. So if you're ready to implement a clear operating system for your agency to take it to new heights, go ahead and visit desilvalife.com slash contact to get in touch with us today. Thank you again for watching this video and supporting our channel. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with anyone else that could benefit from this tutorial. With that, I'll see you next time.